See, like, what do you if have I against Googled, cornmeal I, to the point where you have to hit the eject button? <laughs> Dude, if I Googled hoe cake. And welcome back to another holiday edition of Linux. Gamecast Ding Weekly, dong. the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos. I was going to say some duck tips, but you haven't cooked the duck yet. Um, no, I haven't, I haven't cooked the duck. And anything else. In fact, whatever the hell else we come up with. Um, I'm Ben. That's Jordan. Hi. Pedro P. Step is like, it's a holiday, man. I got to go to church and install Windows 11. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> you know, you know, it's you know, now, now that uh, now that Temple OS is dead, there has to be a new divinely ordained operating system. And that's Windows 11. <laughs> God demands trusted platform module 2.0. Hell Santa. Uh, and strangely enough, as is tradition, we tend to always have a holiday, not holiday version of the show because we're, yeah, I mean, there's another I mean, Yeah, no, no, there's there's not much going on in the news, so uh, not busy yeah. dod- dodging uh, the Christmas parties or anything like that. I, I've beaten that out of everyone. I know. I don't. That took a minute. Does anyone still like try to give you a Christmas present or anything like that? Uh you know, you know what? Uh, someone bought me some nice dice, mm. so that. They're they're like metal dice, so they're that that was nice of them. I bought them a game off their Steam wish list in return. Okay, because I mean, it, uh, this wasn't until recently. I was still getting like, I understand you don't celebrate holiday, but I bought you something. Getting like, stop. I, I, I mean, like if if it, if it, if it's something it doesn't like that, offend me use. or anything. I'm yeah. just like, spend your money on something. Somebody. There, no, this is this is me and Mister Fox Dog. It's like, no, you need to save your money. Stop buying me stuff. Mm. But you know. Some some people like to give. Pro tip. I think uh, Michael sent me something this week. He did. I couple. He did. Yeah, he sent me something too. Yeah. The thank you. The the the, the god sim. Thanks, Mike. Uh, what was it? I got like three or four gifts this week. <laughs> wow, well, Mister Fucking Popular here, man. Just making it rain. Um, thank you to each and every uh, one of you. Uh, because like sold out sent us some last week. Anyway, you were talking about Shot Realm Dynamic helping us for him. Cocaine Voltron. Ho, 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 cane Voltron. How about that? Cocaine. Okay. You don't like hoe cakes? What's a hoe cake? That's a word, isn't it? I'm going to hit the eject button on that. No, it's like a... Uh, it's like a, like a wheat cake or something? Uh, yeah. There, fuck off. There's a recipe for it. Uh, At Betty okay, okay. Okay. So the, it's like cor- cornmeal pancakes. Got it. Okay. <laughs> See, like, what do you if have I against Googled, cornmeal I, to the point where you have to hit the eject? <laughs> Dude, if I Googled hoe cakes, I would get a very different result. Okay, let's be real. <laughs> let's be real. We'd get kicked off Twitch. It's Thank not you. very festive. Thank you. Oh, yes, Michael, Mega Man 11. I look forward to, uh, well, I, I'm going to inflict everyone at home with that. So you guys are going to watch me flail horribly. I heard that one was pretty good. Uh, it's probably better than the um, Mighty Man, Number 9, yeah. No, the Atari Dick. Dick Mick, yes, the Atari Dick Mick of Mega Man. That it <laughs> the Atari Dick Mick. <laughs> is, is, is that the crossover of Custer's Revenge and Mega Man? Or, one bit uh, wieners flapping around the whole thing, man. That's uh, oh. no, I, I enjoyed the uh, yeah, the Mighty Number no. Nine was just not not, not well good. Done. No. So what have we been up to? What have we been up to? Uh, go ahead and say, barring the James Webb Telescope discovering alien life. We are going to do our best to try to finish Trine on Monday. Yes. So. And, that, and then and then the James Webb Telescope will uncover alien life. Yes. That destroys us all, so we might as well have just not played Trine. <laughs> that inspires Frozen Bite to make a new Trine. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 no, it's like um, it's like the scene from Independence Day that Laser just is about to hit the Frozen Bite office, and they're like, we should make Trine 5. Yeah. <laughs> Plan. Man, um, yeah. So, uh, did we have? Did we, we never decided what time on Monday, didn't we? No, I, I figured. I figured we would discuss it today mm. at some point. But uh, what? What's yeah. a good time for you? We, we can outvote people. Ab- ab- absolutely. This this is democracy in action. Pedro's right. not here. We can. <laughs> we, we got, this is like this is like the ultimate hole in the sheet, man. Um, I'm thinking somewhere between like. Uh, it, I was going to say like noonish. Yeah, between twelve and three somewhere there. I'm pretty yeah, flexible. yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Yeah. Get, get it, get it done early-ish. That, that kind of oh. falls in like, I'd be looking for something to do in there. So yeah. 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 
Stay tuned for that. Also, I want to thank everybody who showed up last night for our Get Good Grandpa series with Track Mania. Finally got most of the bugs worked out at the server. It's kind of obeying me. I am still digging out archaic, poorly documented nonsense, but... From textonlyarchive.org caches? From Google caches with text only, yes. Uh, look, yeah, if you want to laugh, just open up the Track Mania doc in Google Docs and look at that. That's worse than the documentation that you could find on this thing. But... Uh, a couple of people even showed up last night. I expected to just kind of play with myself, maybe set some laps. But if you're unfamiliar with it, we are doing a Trackmania series. But we're bringing it back, man. Uh, Trackmania 2, which is cheap. It's half off right now. We got a server set up. I got it running. Uh, it's running Linux because there's a Linux server. But we're doing like some regular tracks. I'm loading up everything on Tuesdays from now on. But we got the backend server, server control, so it'll record your times and stuff like that. So you can practice during the week. Then on Fridays, for the FUBAR, we're going to race. Well, I don't know if we're going to do a points race yet, or if we're just going to do a tip, but I mean, there's not really competition because it's everyone from like me. I grew up playing track medium, the original one, you know, 15, 13, 15 years ago, somewhere there. Um, like I do know how to drive it a little bit, but I'm not great. Then we got people who are just learning how to get around tracks, you know, talking earlier, like, hey, I normally play Civ, but it's a highly approachable uh, just fuck around game. I mean, it's Hot Wheels before the Hot Wheels game came out. And there's also a track designer so we can build our own tracks and stuff like that. So it's just an opportunity. It's good for your brain meets old people or we invite young people to come play too because uh, incompetence, I can speak from experience, knows no age. Yeah, it's 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 cross-generational. It, Absolutely. I like learning. I like challenging myself and I, I, I something like that. And in, in a group where you can measure, we were talking about this in the pre pre super shows and Go back and listen if you're a patron, but having that starting group of like, Hey, let's figure this out. Yeah, mm. de- definitely. Definitely having like a peer group definitely uh, helps a lot. Yeah. Um, other, otherwise it can definitely feel a little more masturbatory. I know that that's the big problem I have with just like getting into racing games is, Oh, well now I have to go around this track a bunch to like get good at mm-hmm. it. And you know, do, doing, doing it alone can it, there, it lacks the shit talk aspect. It lacks the, it lacks the, sh- the social aspect that can like smooth over a lot of games, rough edges. Well, I, it, it is definitely see that's the type of progression. I like in my, just video games in general, I like something that I know it gives me something achievable. Even if I got to go back and grind for it, but I got to grind in the aspect of, I need to improve my skills. Not, mm. you know, it's not going to, I can't RG, RNG my way to this, but and the track media kind of dulls that out. It gives you like, you know, goal one. Hey, can I just find the end of the track? Then you start trying to get good with it. But anyway, if you get a chance, you can watch us. We'll be streaming or um, pop in on the server. We'll have Discord live in the audio. I don't know. Maybe on Tuesday, I might pop in with a thing of like, let's just test some of these tracks out. But I'm not going to promise that just yet. And that's a uh, time available. So, uh, yeah, outside of uh, buying fancy ducks, man. I yeah the all all I did was go to Costco and clear them out on fancy ducks. I mean, that's a definite they, upgrade from your one-legged duck. Yeah, <laughs> right. Mo- moral moral of the story: Don't buy clearance frozen ducks. I guess they will be missing limbs. Okay, okay. I gotta know. Did did is, was that not like mentioned on the duck packaging? Well, like I uh, did 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 I inspect every limb present on the duck carcass? Out of no. The- Am, am, am I going to do that from now on <laughs> until I die? Yes. Are you a little sad? Because, a little bit, yeah. Because now, now there's only one drumstick. Mm. But, you know, there, there, there's plenty of the horse to go around. Isn't there? Yeah, there's just a nonstop supply. And now there's only two of us, so we don't even have to share that much. It's the Steam Optics of the Week. Well, you're talking about sales spoiling the people for the yeah. contents of the yeah, show. No, no one's been spoiled. I think everyone um, saw that, hey, the winter sale is out through December 22nd until January 5th at 10 a.m. Pacific, and we all went, yeah, another one? Okay. That's good. Yep. Okay. That's what I did. Uh, I look, and I look basically at the same games that are in my wish zone on Steam, and they're always like, hey, look, we're the same percent off as we were three weeks ago, and don't worry, in a couple more weeks, uh, we'll be on the same percentage off. And I, I always get a little sad. Uh, Jordan is safe thus far. Yep, this is the one uh, game that I actively went looking for. I'm like, hey, is Dark Alliance one on sale yet? Because 
that, that nope that, that's some post trend nightmare fuel just waiting to happen and uh, i i have a sneaking suspicion that they are going to keep that one at like 51 dollars for as long as they reasonably can they, but it, man yeah i i have no I, oh or is 989 i'd suggest is it, did you see anything that you didn't I, I was, have I, I guess i should say that's a problem because we got so many games so fucking here, here, here's the Tim. Tim Sweeney is a little asshole because I was waiting for a loop hero to go on sale. I was going to buy it. And then last week they're like, yo, loop hero is free on the Epic game store. And so mm. I uh, picked it up there. Uh, so that, that was going to be the one buy I was going to get for myself. But I mean, like I'm generally at a loss for that kind of shit, but the steam sales are good for getting people presents. At least if you, uh, if you need to do the presents buying stuff, I bought, mi- I bought so many copies of dark souls for people. <laughs> so many copies of Dark Souls for people. Dark That's Souls. A, it's on people's wish lists. So I'm like, huh. yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. This is always kind of interesting when you do the uh, holiday wish list clearing up for other people. You That, for me, sometimes works better for game discovery. Like, mm-hmm. what's this? I've right. never heard about this. Oh, I didn't even know there was a game. Then you end up on like some weird side check. Yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> I, I guess maybe this is just a thing of getting old. Um, so I, I, I think it. I think it's just like we've been through all these Steam sales already. Everything we wanted to buy, we've kind of already got. Also, there's, I think there's. Well, I mean, even the dynamic exchange because we're both very much at a point in life. Like, if I really wanted to just buy it, yeah. You know. I, I I I still have that part of me that is reticent to purchase games at full price unless I really really want. Well, them. I mean, if I really <laughs> I, really want it, I mean, even that. I mean, if it's something I'm going to enjoy, here's the thing: I'm going to burn a heretic purchase next month. God of War, doing it. It's going to happen. I mean, just no, day one, going to buy it. Hopefully it'll work. If it doesn't, I'll wait it out. Same thing. I, I mean, that, I did that with the new old Nira. <laughs> About that day one and then going to get halfway through the game. Um, yeah, just, <laughs> they, they fixed that, though. It's yeah. fine. You can, you, you can get through it. Yeah. Like two weeks later. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. Small problem. All right. Uh, Linux, Linux is viable gaming. for gaming. Yeah, Linux Gaming Man. Who the fuck even does that shit? It's I saw like that so kid on pointless. YouTube try to do it, and they were just fucking yeah. up to... Oh, dude, he fucking in- uninstalled his GUI, man. No, this is this is from uh, hot- Hotware.com. Links to all this in our show notes. Um, and it's another one of these uh, think pieces now that the uh, Steam Deck is getting well, every- closer and closer to its promised dude, release date. Everybody got the on the one. Like, Proton DB. They released a thing. They were like, hey, man, all these games are like 80 or 70% of the games. But we're- and yeah. everyone did an article about it. They they did yeah it's seventy five percent of the top played games on Steam are playable fully through Proton they're either on the platinum or gold uh, compatibility list ah uh, yeah and you know and you know what it is these last two years have definitely been like a wild Proton field ride because you know once upon a time it was hey a game came out maybe Wine will support it in a couple of years now it's like hey a game came out Glorious Emerald just released a new version before we went live and now we can play the game within like a day or two of its release. Uh, so something I brought up, uh, this was the first time, the first time that I can ever think of, um, I picked up something on steam that was a windows game that I didn't go to proton DB to check. I'm like, yeah, there's like, yeah, it'll, 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 pro- it'll probably work. Yeah. yeah. The, 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 the one remaining thing, the, the, the one fucking pain point here is the anti cheat. And nowadays we have the fucking backend ready to go. Uh, EAC has proton support. Battle. Eye has support. That uh, C- CEG or whatever was the the one that Valve released that has that has Proton support now. So we just need developers who are willing to play ball. And you know we've talked about it. hopefully the deck you know, will change that. I think Valve was kind of smart doing what they did. They're like ball year court. There you go. Oh yeah, ab- absolutely. Now now it's like well we provided you the facility, so mm-hmm. now you gotta you gotta fucking use it. <sighs> I don't know. We're, we're, we're going to see more of these articles, though. Uh, how, I, 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 lo- I look forward to re- repeating the same seven wow. recycled points every week. It's going to get kind of interesting because there's going to be more and more to talk about, especially with the release of the deck. It's like uh, we, we've been trading a decade for what's about to go down to have the tools, yeah, weapons, and everything we need. Now, from the article at heart, heart hardware.com, they write, uh, YouTubers have been having a lot of trouble recently but they're trying to make a point out of love. And I'm like, love, <laughs> love. No. love of money, money, money. You, you misspelled money in your quote. Um, but yeah, 74 out of the top 100 most played games, happy gold or platinum status on proton DB, which means absolutely fucking all. Unfortunately, uh, especially when you're dealing with the, um, 
I got this mentality. I see a lot of people walking in. They're like, hey, man, I'm going to do this Linux gaming thing this weekend. No, the fuck you're not. That's not gatekeeping. That's reality. You got to get in the right mindset of like, I'm going to have to learn some new stuff. Well, ho- ho- hopefully with the deck that people won't need to learn, they'll just be able to press a button. And That's going to be the good thing, but that doesn't translate to the desktop, I fear. No. Um, well, I mean, it's well, completely we, different. We, we've it's seen like, that trade wreck in slow motion over. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. But uh, Wait, okay. I, I, I don't here, know. Here, here, to that point, to that point, let me get this out. We, we, even in that series, we're, t- we're talking about Linus, you know, the squeaky one, not that one. Um, him and Luke, we saw the two different approaches. Luke, Luke was like, RTFM, let's figure this out. And let it, uh, Linus uh, went on it as, like, I'm a power user and just constantly was fucking up with that attack. Yeah. And the, then I, again, it, 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 it's, it's, it's the whole, it's the whole drama thing. There's, there, there, there is incentive to not approach this as you would normally. Mm-hmm. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you know, ratchet up the drama and create some clicks. Right. I, I don't know. Right, right now, I think we're we're. I'm I'm personally in a in a wait and see situation. I mean, have you ever I want, tried I want, to install Linux during a hostage negotiation? I have. Uh, it's really easy. Did you film it? <laughs> we can... No, because I was holding the hostages. I can McLean. I can only hold the gun and install the Linux. I don't have I don't have three hands, Ben. Come on, man. Talk, what was it? Uh, the Plaza. That, that was all. Uh... All right, but hey, Ben. You do have to uh, dig a little bit in 2021, period, to find yep. something that doesn't work out of the box. With Proton, you click a button and it works. And I'll say that again and again and again. Valve, now at first that was kind of a hard sell because a lot of stuff didn't work with that play button, but they got that part right. And you're like, button, if you want and you really want to mess with some stuff, you can. But for most people, click, you know, button, receive, bacon. Now, the anti-cheat, as we were discussing, that's in the hands of the developers, and that's where Valve moved it. And like, well, that's up to them if it doesn't work, which I really, really hope. One of two things. One, if you're a developer sitting there waiting for Valve to cut you a check to push a button, let it go. Not going to happen. Two, if you're not going to let it go, be prepared for a lot of people, because we don't know how many people are going to continue using the Steam decks, but we got a pretty good idea how many they sold. It's a lot. Yes. Yeah. But you no, know, most of these people are going to install Windows on it anyways, so it's not even. A, it's not They're going to try. But you know, may, may, maybe you have a resource for uh, getting but, those harder to operate. Damn it! Games, damn uh, it! That, damn it! No, now I got a now I got an idea, Jordan. Uh, what, what, what if I could do a uh, video of installing Windows on my Steam Deck, uh, a la Linus Tech Tips version of? Just, I want. I want. I want the Blair Witch version of that with like shaky hand cam. And then like after the installation is done, you turn around. There's just some creepy lady standing in a corner. I'm out in a field with a shotgun trying to put it down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Speaking of yeah, Proton, pro, DB. Pro, 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 yeah, Proton DB. Yeah. Proton DB. They're, they're, update, they're having some stuff. Yeah. New release and celebration of the Steam holiday sale, December 22nd, 2021. Surprise Linux gamers riding along the sleigh with Steam's holiday and a fresh Proton. What do we got? Um, report specifying experimental versions. That's good. Notes written for customizations used. That's nice. Uh, outbound GitHub issue link. Now filters open issues. Uh, border styles. Uh, JavaScript dependent. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, they now have one of those new IRC things as an alternative to their Discord yeah, chat. They're on Libera. Howdy, neighbors. Hey. <laughs> Fancy. Haven't we done well? Um, That's neat. That's neat. Yeah, um, there, 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 there's a couple neat things here. Uh, the the big one here is uh, a lot of a lot of WYSIWYG editors will concatenate double dash into like the long dash, which when you're trying to document um, when you're trying to document command line flags, it does not really work. So now it'll handle that properly. Um, and yeah, the uh, they have some new stuff coming in for uh, 2022 as well. Uh, they're trying to do some better heuristics for determining determining relevancy of reports. Um, a new homepage and uh, reports specifically for the Steam Deck. So we're, we're going to see some uh, people trying to get maybe some. I, I don't know. The, the, Valve has said, "Hey, certain games are just not going to run on the deck because you know they're not designed for that form factor." So we're going to see if uh, anyone can say otherwise. Yeah. That's exciting. It is. Like, yeah. The, uh, the uh, I didn't the, disagree with you. Uh, oh, 
shock. No, the the I mean it's 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 a it's a good project, and it's it's good to see that they're actually working on improving because they absolutely could have just left Proton DB just sit there and accrue user reports. Um, but you know they're actually determined to make 100%. it. hundred uh, percent. I, I appreciate yep. ProtonDB. That's somebody after my own heart of looking around. Like, why hasn't somebody unfucked this situation? Glares at WineDB. Like, really? Um, mm-hmm. You know, there there was a problem in need of a solution. Something like this. Dude made it himself. I'm like, well done. That's how you get stuff done. Now, one of the improvements I would like to see is because let's face it, if you've been using Linux for a while, Linux for a while, this is where you go. You head to ProtonDB. And why are you there? Because the shit didn't launch when you click play and you're like, fuck, all right, what do I, where's the moon glyph command that I get to add to the uh, command section or do I need to create a file or, you know, step two. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm there for. And that's what I want to see because, you know, Hey, we head over to proton DB and w- that's what we're looking for. Milk mine defender. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. Don't judge me. Um, you know, a regular game like aqua kitty milk mine defender. Please don't look that up because I haven't either. It could be horrible. Oh, this, this is absolutely some freaking porno game. Good uh, job. But yeah, this is what we're looking for. Like proton tricks. And I mean, for me, I only speak for myself. This is what I had here. And that's, I would like that, like just right up here at the top, an expandable thing of like when I'm filling out a report for fixes and for just a drop down of all the fixes and chronological yeah, order of posting. It, it would it'd also be nice to like sort of aggregate them of like maybe a section for here are some things you try to get the game run instead of like having to filter through all the comments. Right. You can be like, uh, cause, cause a lot of the times it is just like a single proton tricks command or some option you got to put in. So like having some way to like having a dedicated section in the site for that would definitely be very useful. Yeah. I think. And you know, being able to filter that and like on a separate thing, rate that advice, because there's always the, well, the trick to doing this is you got to close VLC twice and then. You know, right. The, the placebo operations. Uh, right. And that and people just talking to talk. So yeah, having a separate rating for the fixes, because a lot of us, uh, people who use Linux, but also play games, that's what we go to Proton DB for. We just show up like, hey, I, let's fix real quick. All right, done. To be honest, I usually check it first just to see, like, am I going to have a problem running this game, period? Right. And I just like that, like, more, you know, if where I do have a problem or if you're just going back through your library, games you already yeah. have. If you're like me, it's like, man, I haven't touched a lot of these. So, yeah, uh, good to see that updated. Now, this was uh, late breaking news, and I guess we're going to try to explain it. Oh, well, 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 we'll talk about it at least. No, no one knows the true reasoning aside from a couple key people who will assassinate us if we say their it's names. It's the true but fallout from the space telescope. It, it is. Um, it's the fallout from that, from uh, the, the Hubble falling onto China. No, uh, so apparently, apparently Steam is no longer available in China. The domain is now unresolvable. Um, so you're not going to be able to punch steampowered. I guess, CN into your... Br- browser and go there um why this is we don't really have much of uh we don't really have a lot of um hints uh or any sort of facts behind that we know that we know that china has been pretty big on like limiting uh the amount of time that people can play games um so maybe maybe this has something to do with it i don't know it's kind of spooky though especially on uh right on christmas eve well we also know that um, Steam has pulled up like the China stamp of approval version of their client. And yes. uh, reading through SteamDB, uh, who writes like, hey, man, there's reports of being blocked. Store and API subdomains appear to experience connection resets. Akamai IPs, which, you know, typical for the firewall, uh, like how they blocked GitHub back in the day. Yep. They all seem to work. So, uh, you know, to oversimplify that is um, it is kind of blocked, but only... The store, the, the the official store, not like the TF2 Counter-Strike like specific, but all your client stuff should yep. work. Uh, yeah, Steam client should work fine. Um, all the CMs are not being blocked, even if API is unavailable and local server list is empty. Client will connect to CM0. So I don't know, like maybe this is. Because I remember reading earlier, somebody thought it was like DNS poisoning. I'm like, ah, oh, it could be whoever, but this is probably no, yeah, the uh, BGP poisoning. There was a there was a bunch of that happening uh, last night. Mm. Some some someone someone got access to an ISP and was uh, injecting fake routes. What I uh, was reading around from uh, people who are currently in China uh, is everyone is gaming. Uh, people are dumb. They're like, yeah, we get a VPN. 
And I was like, that's how we were playing Steam to begin with, bro. And so uh, I don't think this is going to drive too much in the way of traffic onto the official China approved Steam client, which has like, what, three games, I believe? Yeah, it's, it's got <laughs> Counter Strike, Team Fortress, and League of Legends, I guess. Something, man. Ah, uh, well, China, as you said, is go to China. China is going to China. Coming up next, uh, wine on Wayland. It's it's definitely a thing that we've been waiting for because you know Unity games aren't going to run themselves on a modern Linux. Better be a bot. Man, can you believe we survived that? We haven't been blocked in China. I, you know, we're hmm, we're not blocked in China. Strangely enough. Always surprising. Surprise, super surprising. Oh, always surprises me. It's, it's always, Hi, G. A, always curious, man. Oh, wouldn't that be a thing? <laughs> yeah. You get that email. Like, hey, man. Yeah. What show? What's up? Mm. Like, yeah, uh, oh, fuck. Uh, I, 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 I have some requests regarding, uh, you know, what? let's, let's move on. <laughs> let's get into uh, the news. But before we do that, we like to thank the beautiful party people who make this show possible. We got a pretty strange way about doing it. We just put it out for free. And we're like, Hey man, if you like it, cut us a check. And by a check, I mean, Maybe four quarters a week because that adds up. And we I, do I things mean, you, like you, you can you you can do the uh, the 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 dude writing the check for seventy five cents at the grocery store. Have you ever yeah. seen that? Yes, wow. yes, I've I've been I've been the cashier on the other end of that. Checks are such a thing of the past. At this point, I don't care if I'm next in line and the queue is like stacked. If I see somebody break out a checkbook at the last minute, out and I go somewhere. Else. Yeah. I, I, it's like happened only once, but like I've, I've been the cashier on the other end of that. Oh, and I man. was also like, can, can, can we accept these? <laughs> uh, how does this work? I don't know, man. Like, just, I wrote down, I have some money. So, uh, well, uh, send, send your checks to patreon.com slash Linux gamecast. <laughs> you can, uh, you can get access to a bunch of stuff, uh, like our discord channel, uh, by becoming do, a patron. You, you can also get that. If you, if you mail Patreon, a yeah, check. just somebody wrote uh, like, to Linux Gamecast. And uh, so, 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 uh, I, 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 re- remind me after we stop recording, there, there is a, there is a story from my previous job that I'm not at liberty to share on a podcast, okay. but all right. Yeah. Um, but it, it, interestingly enough, uh, funny anecdote. Anyways, uh, yeah, patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. Sub to it. Uh, get access to our Patreon or to our Discord. You can also get that by, uh, subbing to us on Twitch. Yeah, if you if you suck to us on Patreon, no, yeah, no, if better. I suck to you on Patreon, get access to our Patreon. But yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, buy three, get the third for zero dollars. <laughs> yeah, um, we, yeah, you get all, you get other cool stuff too. Uh, we do the pre pre super shows, and that is an entire hour of additional nonsense that we uh, we we just click record when we uh, when we just uh, get on the call. A, um, non spoiler review uh, this week of Matrix. Oh, I mentioned it and uh, Witcher and um, Witch- Wheel of Venom Time. and Venom. Uh, yeah, we yeah we we uh, we ran we ran the gamut. Uh, so yeah, you get access to that. You get the video version if you uh, pay for the executive producer uh, level on Patreon. Treat as well. yourself. So. Yeah. Yeah, treat yourself. Uh, we got to thank uh, Romeo Sid Vicious. He increased his pledge on Patreon. Um, we also got to thank uh, Mr. Foxdog, who bought us some games. He bought this me Universe Sim. What is Universe yeah, Sim? It's like a, it's like a god game, sort of like black and white, where you like you play as God and like the you can affect the world and the people will worship you and so on and so forth. Is it going to your gym? Not really, no. But. I don't know. Well, I'll, I I guess I owe him at least one stream of it. At which point, I will try and be a cruel and angry god, as is my wants. Uh, the Mega Man's I'm gonna I'm gonna play around with. By the way, I mean it works. I launched it and it did the thing, and I died very very short order. Maybe I, I I'm lying to myself. I'm like oh, I clearly picked the wrong. You know, it's the same formula even at eleven. The the order of the yeah, bosses. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. And I'm sure I was on the exact one, which I haven't looked up to start with. Yeah. and still just got wrecked. B- baby man. Oh wow. no, I can't get past baby man. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we, we got, we, we got, a, we got a store as well. Well, you want some last minute new year's gifts, maybe buy yourself for your, uh, I, w- I was going to say loved ones, but you wouldn't buy people. You love any of this. I, stuff. I was about to unlock uh, a new level of dumb. I was like, when is new year's? I'm like, no, <laughs> we know this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't time. Time is fucking warped, but yeah, we, we got t-shirts. We got coffee cups. We got hoodies. We got masks. We got stickers, all sorts of fun little LGC merch that you can place on your body or belongings or bodies that belong to you for whatever. You reason. better make We're sure not you own judge. the bodies before you start. Yes, please, please make yeah. sure you own bodies. We, we don't want body graffiti. Bro. I mean, LGC be, be, cares. Be responsible. 
Yeah. Uh, what Double else? We got we got wish lists. Uh, LinuxGameCast.com. Go to the support button. I have one. Pedro has one. Jill has one. Ven has one. Uh, get, buy stuff off there. You, we, you can send us a note that we got to we got to read on air. It's it can be very very nice or it can be very very cringe. It's up to you. And if you buy Ven some stuff, you get your name on the glowing wall. Behind no one's ever right been there. clever about that. I'm like, you know what? If I, if I had this type of weaponized stuff, there there would be horrible things behind me. But then again, most most people who are helping us out are nice. They're not like me. Also, I would put enough. I would uh, be constructing sentences. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're like, why are you, what, what these strange words? And it's like, yeah, just read them out. We record them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it, it, you, you just use like the fake names so that like you fill out the thing yeah. and then it turns into a Mad Lib My or some shit. Absolutely. Name is Absolutely. The password. <laughs> yeah. With oh, his mother's maiden name Sworn and her me. credit card number. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Fuck it. Let's, let's, let's get into this. Uh, it's been a long, long year for the Wine on Whalen team, hasn't it? Are you trying to say it's been a long one? Getting from the <clears throat> here. Wine on Whalen. Away, Scott Bakula. You're an update. Hmm. Improved functionality and stability uh, from Alexandros Franz- mm. Francis. Ziz- T- T- Z- Fra- Z- Francis. I don't know. So, uh, let's Francis talk about the Wayland driver. Is. Currently supports minus any bugs, window state handling, OpenGL Vulkan, display mode change, multiple monitors, pop up menus, key maps, high DPI. It's one of the big promises. Copy pasta both ways and sys trays. So, yeah, wine on Wayland. This is uh, going to be an interesting hurdle, but they are very much addressing it, Jordan. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Like um, th- th- this is going to be like the long term game preservation, because once X goes the way of the dodo, when X finally gets on that boat and sails off to the lands in the east, as, the, as they what do, do you think about, this is gonna um, be, it's going to be the only way you can get uh, Strike Suit Zero running. I want to pause it because what, what do you think about um, f- uh, next release of Fedora? Coming with Wayland Nvidia binary by default. Yeah, that's that's gonna, that's gonna be interesting. Uh, it's it's just uh, enabling the Wayland session if you're on the blob drivers right now. There's a UDEV rule you gotta disable in order to uh, enable Wayland online in Fedora. Um, well, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I, like during install, I, I, it's like yeah, no, we'll get the Nvidia binary. It's gonna have to, well, I guess, cop to repos. Then so, yep. uh, yeah, it's gonna be like the main option. Yeah, which is which is really good. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm still going to be on X because you know you wine on well, maybe 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 next year when we get this update, it's going to be like oh, ready to go. You can just run all your wine shit natively on Wayland, and it's going to be good. Uh, the one big roadblock here they're dealing with is uh, cross pl- uh, cross process communication. Um, it basically affects games that have launchers, so you know your Steams, your Origins, your U plays that that kind of stuff uh, is going to be problematic. Especially, but uh, Val- Valve is trying to combat the use of these launchers. You know, the the Steam Deck approved list says like you shouldn't be using them, or you should have like a default value. So hopefully that will help uh, deal with some of this, uh, some of these rough patches. Um, but yeah, uh, it's good, good progress. We talked about this uh, last year at about this time, yeah. and they're like, yeah, we we we've, we've started working on this Wayland driver for wine, and we got we got a window drawn. Now shit mostly works. It's good. So refresh me on this. Is the Steam Deck going to be using Wayland by default? I'm guessing. Yeah, uh, it's going to. So I think what it was is it's using it's using X for like the main client, but it launches the games in game scope, which is Wayland. Mm. So it's kind of like their own. Yeah. Curated version. Hmm. So, yeah. What do you got? That? Nope. On Unity screen? Nope. Oh, well, man, that. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Get. Here's the irony. Sp- like, speaking now, of shell shock, yeah. dude, um, things I wish I, I wish they'd kept. I understand why they didn't. The only way to stop developers from just completely leveraging the unity scream of note. We're talking about the pop-up thing that used to be on every yeah. unity title because yeah, people the, didn't want to bother. Ass ugly window. Right. Yeah. They didn't want to have, you know, graphical um, and resolution settings in game. I'm like, Hey, we can take care of this. And I understand using the tools that are available, but for like couch experiences on PC, that was, some bullshit because you know you didn't have steam controllers at the time and now you know that was really a really thing it means you had to have a keyboard and mouse plugged in to click through that if they hadn't have just completely disabled it people would still be using it in their games and you you can you can still bring it up it's still a command line switch there's no way to get to it now no oh they, they completely nixed it Ooh, that at least 
to the best of my knowledge, because the last time I went on a hunt, I knew it was a Unity title that didn't have a windowed mode. And I'm like, it has a windowed mode if I can just get to that screen. And, you know, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Scott is saying 2019 was when it died. Yeah. He, he develops with Unity, so I'm sure he would know better than I do. That's right, man. Um, Open HV, we were talking about this uh, before the show. I was kind of impressed because I got up and went did some stuff, and I'm like, oh, man, Jordan's got some backstory on this game. Yeah, well, you, you kind of need it. So here's here's the deal. Hard Vacuum. Never heard of it. There's a good reason for it. Uh, back in the 90s, it was an RTS game that was in development that actually had a decent amount of development completed. Um, it eventually, it or it never got released. Um, but the people who were still working on it still, uh, well, specifically Daniel Cook, uh, still had access to the sprites. He still had access to the um, tiles that he worked on. Appar- apparently one of the developers was only accessible via payphone at one point. This was like early 90s development. So he had, he had to like use the Captain Crush- Crunch whistle to extend his call time. Anyway, there's a, there's a whole blog post document. Like, was, pay- <laughs> was he incarcerated? <laughs> Yeah, so, some some shit like that. Um, so here's the thing, though. These days, um, if you want to make a new game, a lot of the initial work is done for you already, especially if you're using an existing engine. Um, a lot of, like, Dota, for example, was a StarCraft mod. Uh, they built it using the StarCraft le- level editor. And, you know, if you want to have a 90s-style real-time strategy game, you can take a look at OpenRA that implements, you know, the tiles, it implements movement, units, blah, blah, blah. Basically, anything you'd need for... a fairly functional um, real-time strategy game. So these guys are taking the hard vacuum assets and the design docs, and they're attempting to uh, massage it into the OpenRA project and, you know, make a new game. All this to say that uh, if you like that kind of stuff, if you're a big fan of Tiberium Sun, Red Alert, there's a brand new release out for the holidays. Mm. So you can can give that a whirl and play a game that almost never was. Is the uh, Itch app available in Linux? I assume it is, right? That is an excellent question, Ben. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it is. We're, we're missing out on this uh, whole other universe of stuff that couldn't be asked to be on Steam. Right. I, I, I mean, you know, you got to give space for the indies to do their experimental shit. That's good. Yeah. Um, apparently, according to Darkwing, HIO of apps available on Linux. So there nice. you go. You don't even need to download it from the website like, a, like an app Present. image, which is the only way. The only way you should consume app images. You know, I was sitting back. I haven't got the uh, the talking to from the creator of app images on Twitter. Oh yet. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah you, you're you're chatting about that on Weekly Daily Wednesday. I'm like, oh, are we gonna get some? No, I'm gonna no. poke that bear again, where this guy flips out on me. <laughs> I'm like, we talked about something that organizes and. Uh, <laughs> what do you think about that though? Like a like nice GUI and for repository of app images? Because I think one of the things that something that it's like been attract to app images is just that lack of, you know, doing Central. what the, yeah, what the creator said is the correct and blessed way of using app images for each individual developer to put it on their website that you got to hunt down and find a download every time there's an update. I, th- I think it's a, I think it's a matter of like right tool for the right job. Cause like to me, app image kind of reminds me of the portable executive executable format that uh, windows had that works where, yeah, where, yeah, you just don't, if for like, if you just need to distribute your app on like itch or whatever, mm-hmm. then yeah. Um, I, I don't know. There, there's pro, there's pros and cons to the centralization, decentralization argument of that. Uh, there, there, there would have, there would have to be a group of people actually like curating the app images. And I think that there would be where that would fall apart. That, that's where the, the whole, the app hub, app image hub is. And that's what mm. we were talking about. Like the GUI front end of that. And right. Yeah. I mean, Audor, not Audor, um, Audacity, the latest version, they finally fixed their app image under De- Debian where it can find FFmpeg, but, uh, Woo! I, yeah. I, I'm a fan of stuff like that. If I want to try something, I want to install it and I don't want to have like another service like snap or flat pack uh, set up just to test out that one thing. I love app images. Just download the app image, double click on it and play around. Oh, no, it, 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 yeah, it's, it's, it's a great way. I, I mean, I, I think, Centralized app image is basically flat pack, but you know, send, send me your hit. Let's, let's go with that. Right. Um, let's talk let, about, let, let's talk about simulation? Tom Cruise cosplays. Come on, man. VR desktop, Linux VR on the desktop is a thing. It's alive and well through Simula VR. Um, VR window manager for Linux. And this is something we talked about on Wednesday, but I thought this would probably, probably hit differently on uh, Saturdays because this is something I want, man. This, this is the future that I want to be promised to me. What we're looking at on the video is 
being able, you know, in VR to have virtual monitors, virtual desktops lined up. I'm looking at the video, we got Reddit open. It looks like Reddit, and you know, we got them or whatever, something inferior like Top. Max possibly, and H Top over on the right no, side. That's 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 them. All right, and uh, web browser down at the bottom, and this this speaks to me. Because, you know, I got two monitors here. I got two more monitors here. I got a monitor here. I got two more monitors here. And I'm doing this and laid out the best I can. And they're all being used. And I would have, I think like everyone, I would have more monitors if I didn't have to have more monitors. And this is going to hopefully change that because this, this sells me on the VR. It's not the gaming. It's not running around, you know, spooky time simulator. What it, it it wasn't the 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 digital three thousand ch- full Chinese keyboard three thousand character full Chinese keyboard from the the other time we were talking about this but, shit. Let's be honest, I'd probably buy that on Steam if it was <laughs> just have. Yeah, right. Uh, like, yeah, well, yeah. We we got we got a, we got a JSON format that'll support all keyboards now. So here's the full Chinese keyboard. Um, one of the big hangs up, you know, what what I said uh, Wednesday. You know, I want version six three one of this. I don't want version one point That's where we're at right now, looking for testers because. Uh, you, we have reality. Reality is going to kick you right in the dick. Um, text, still a bit shit with current resolutions. And they've got a filter that they've implemented for text quality. And uh, it makes it look less bad, but that's kind of where we're at. But I do want to point out that the software basically works with anything that works with Linux that's got an open XR back in. So you're going to be good with that. But what I want, you know, when the tech catches up, is that mythical device, you know, something that is wireless decent battery life and doesn't look like you're getting faced fucked by a toaster. Just some no, you're just going to get like the Bato cyber eyes. That's work. what's going to happen. That'd work. Yeah. I, I'd be down with that, but can you imagine like, I, I want, I want to be around because I want to see what type of interesting use cases some people come up with. Well, like the, the, the other thing too, is like once, once you start having to occupy a virtual space, physical constraints of normal peripherals cease to apply. Right. Mm-hmm. We, can, we can, we can have like usage paradigms that are far outside what we're currently able to do just because we're not limited by the physical space that we occupy. Now we have like a canvas that we can paint shit on. That's why you can have like a million well, months. Right? So, yeah, I I'm, want I'm, to address this because I'm thinking about it right now. Oil of hope uh, wrote shaky cam on the desktop. I'm going to throw the inverse to that when it comes to accessibility for somebody with some type of tech you can compensate for that in software yep. to where the first time in their life, they'd be able to see something with steady cam. Yeah. Like, 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 like I said, there, there, there are, there's like an entire galaxy of fucking usage patterns here mm-hmm. that stuff like this opens up because again, you're, you're not constrained by the physical, uh, the physicality of the space you're in. I, one, one thing that they, they did add that I thought was kind of neat is there's an external camera mode now. So in case you're not able to touch type, cause Mavis bacon has failed you. You can actually look down at your keyboard um, yep, man, I, that, that keyboard reminds me of a pack of starburst. I'd, I'd seen some video editing keyboards that look like that, but, um, mm. I'm not sure this guy does it for video editing. No, but. no, I'm probably not. Seemingly on one headset. They are currently working on their own hardware, which that that's bold. That's bold, but you can get on the wait list. I don't think I'll be V1. I mean, listen, guys. Gals, if you want to send me one, I'll be happy to play with it and make some videos about it. But, um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be uh, having the... Oh, man, getting face fucked by a waffle on your head. Um, that 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 straight up looks like some Nintendo shit. No, this, that, that's this like guy the, over... The, the Famicom the, tell me the guy headset. on the right doesn't look like one of the robot stormtrooper Star Wars looking guys. It reminds me of like a VR trooper from that old Saban show. Mm-hmm. I am so down with this. Um, Simula OS, uh, Simula VR. Go check it out. I want this in my future. I really yes. do. Maybe that's a little too high tech for you. Maybe you want something a little more retro. Maybe you want Wasm. So this is uh, Wasm 4. Build retro games using WebAssembly for a fantasy console. And yeah, they uh, essentially what it is is it uh, creates a uh, console that gives you a 160 square pixel display, 64 kilobytes of RAM, 64 kilobytes of storage, uh, keyboard, mouse, touchscreen, up to four gamepads. And yeah, it's basically, um, and as long as your language of choice can output to WebAssembly, you can utilize this library to go make some basic ass games. Um, something that you might find on an NES or a Game Boy, but hey, it's stuff to get you started. And 
one one thing we're always big on 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 the show is tools for new developers to get started on making games because like yeah it starts with making a an easy little ball bouncer thing and then you turn your ball into a man and then you turn the platforms into a bunch of varied platforms and all of a sudden you start like in- incrementing until you start creating bigger and more complex games and tools like these are essential for getting that ball rolling so it's good to see you can run any of these games in your browser uh, make some real easy to you know distribute. Just give them an HTML file and away you go. I they have a bunch of them. Neat. Yeah, yep. they have they have a bunch of them on the site um, that uh, work to varying degrees. But hey, uh, that that that's kind of, that's kind of the point, right? So, do you think um, the future of uh, game development is going to be web based completely? Or? <sighs> I don't, I don't know. Cause like there, there was the guy who was um, promoting like web GPU as like a cross platform graphics API and definitely, definitely when it comes to creating stuff that needs to run on various types of computers, arm based x86 based, et cetera, like web seems to be the, the lingua franca here. So, you know, there, there's, there's definitely an argument to be said that like a lot of this browser technology will get repurposed uh, just because of how, thoroughly cross-platform it is. I think I'm going to go pro. Uh, that, the, the, uh, oh, right. You're, you're actually playing this. I thought yeah. we were watching a recording no, for some no, reason. No. Oh, okay. uh, All right. I, I, I Sucking in live, real time. Right. right. Yeah. Um, All right. This game has been around. What's up next? Um, but not uh, Stuxnet. Stuxnet, the game. Uh, before we hit that, I, I, I think like online development, that's going to be a thing. Do you think about because you know ten years ago we could run Quake three in the browser? Yeah, yeah. It needed like some fucking plugin, but yeah, yeah but you could still, do it. I mean, you could do it, and, now, and 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 now you can play Doom with checkboxes and only checkboxes. And when I think about like you know game streaming, but what, is is there like web integrated or like online integrated development systems where you're just tied into like you know go fuck your code to Tron nine thousand that can compile at the speed of go fuck yourself. I believe so. Yeah. Like out of the box. I mean, what, what, I think, I think saying saying that like, is yeah, you could capable set of that doing that. Yeah. Where you could attach it to a back end and like maybe at least some time or something like that. I don't know. If we're, I mean, I mean, I mean that that's, that's just CI, right? Yeah. I'm just saying maybe somebody wants to compile Chromium. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then on the Raspberry Pi. Yeah. Oh. That was me. <laughs> Don't do it. That's, that's still a monster to compile, man. It still is. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, to the point, we were talking about SuperTux, and SuperTux is, I don't even want to think when it started, but there is a big update. Speaking of WASM, what's WASM mean? Wow. Web assembly. Web assembly. Oh, yep. Look at all the new stuff, man. You can swim, wall jumping, uh, auto tiles, uh, custom particles, no more regular run of the mill particles, official binaries for free PSD, Linux 32 bit, and Ubuntu Touch. Because reasons? Because people are still using Ubuntu Touch, apparently. Skippable well, cutscenes, cut which make me think I didn't know it had to cut scenes, but yes. Uh, oh, oh man. Now, now, now I just want the fucking three hour long Kojima esque, like Super Tux cutscene. <laughs> Frog Fractions 3. No. Uh, I mean, this is the Mario, this is like an, the OG Mario clone, man. Like, you know, had to come out like roughly around the time of like uh super Mario Chronicles. Remember that? No, no. Oh man. It, it was, it was a straight up like super Mario brothers three remake until Nintendo got a little suey with them. So they had to replace it. Ah. And it, we're talking 20 years ago. So yeah, man. So, I mean that, that tracks. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. It's, it's like Nintendo going and suing the little kid who uh, made the fake Nintendo switch out of cardboard, right? Like, <sighs> But Warms at, your heart. Uh, at least you know aliens haven't um, taken over Nintendo. That's still regular, just Nintendo being itself. Yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure the Gould have taken over Nintendo like a hundred years ago when they fucking started. <laughs> oh no, nah, man. Uh, that- no, 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 no. You, you say that, but that that's definitely wasn't the case. That was the uh, <laughs> they took over Atari, and we saw what happened there. <laughs> right yeah. yeah we are gods and now our games are buried in the Check desert your wires. all right hey everyone that is gonna do it for this how long do you think this was uh, i think i think we made it 45 minutes i i think 20 40 we, i think we're gonna come up on 
I, I, it doesn't quite feel like an hour, but in that in that area. <laughs> I, I'm just stretching some time, man. I gotta, I gotta get my yeah. round numbers. Well, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna be three hours by the time yeah. we're done, motherfuckers. We're hourly now, man. Um, no, yeah. uh, we did a show. I mean, it's Christmas Day for whatever or um, holiday, and we wanted to have give you something to listen to, especially tomorrow when you're like recovering, when you're hiding from family and getting away and regretting life decisions and all that fun stuff. Maybe you're playing, Hunt, hunting for Boxing Day deals. Because yeah. we know nobody's going to be playing with their new NVIDIA video cards. Um, or their or their new PlayStations or Xboxes or anything. Right? <laughs> I, I, yeah, see, that, here's the, that's kind of what I, I look at the scalping prices on the uh, PS5s and the Xboxes. I have no interest in getting one. But looking at that versus regular price, I'm like, how come we don't have reasonable scalpers? With <laughs> for GPUs, and like that's only like a 20% mark, I guess, because there's more competition in that scalping area. But yeah, well, you well, you, you, can, you can charge more because the crypto people have the money, right? Yeah, yeah. that's true, too. <clears throat> man, they can buy power plants, so yeah, they can pay your 500% markup. But yeah, if you want to get a hold to us, head over to linuxemcast.com, tap that contact button, send us a message, leave a comment on YouTube, put one on Patreon, or just hop into our Discord, which you can do if you're a patron or if you subscribe to us on Twitch. And uh, I'll see everyone. If you want to get your race on, go ahead and buy a copy of Trackmania 2 Stadium. It's like two bucks right now. And I guarantee you I'll be able to uh, help you extract more than that out of it. Okay. I am, man, I was not prepared for this. because, like, right. Who, who am I? Who? Where am I? What is this place? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Aha. Just in time. If you want to get in touch with me, again, just at Ben. Or hit me up in Discord. Hit me up in IRC. By the way, we have an IRC. It's open on uh, Libra Chat, and that's all tied into our Twitch chat and our Discord. So if you're in the live channel, hey, come say a word and uh, find me just at Vin Stone on the Twitters. That's it. At, at, at Vin on Mass.LinuxGameCast.com, where I still post stuff. And somebody was trying to argue about EQ with me and trying to pull the old man card. I'm like, son. I'm an older man, damn right? it. That's where it went. <laughs> yeah. Let me pull out my driver's license. I'm Jordan Spung. I have a less reasonable markup. You can buy me for about $500 more than you normally could on Twitter at The Burning Fool or on twitch.tv slash Burning Fool. Oh. Yeah, no Pedro this time. <laughs> I kind of checked out and I'm like, oh, I got a minute. Let me have, take a little yeah, sip. Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah that, 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 that muscle memory is completely it, wrong. It, it, completely wrong. Rough. I disabled the Pedro button on the show this week, so I I accidentally pressed it like nine times. All right. Credits. Bye bye. Hail Santa. It's hey, it's that time of year, man. Right. Time to ponder the orb as a safety hazard. Yeah, gotta covet the orb as a little pippin. Alright, well we gotta thank our advisors, Omegas, our Theron. And our executive producers, Aldius Barbrem, Scott Michaud, Michael Foxdog, Tom McCass, Michael G, Michael T, drummer, and Kohaku Love Shock. We got the Chicago Kicks Ass Pins. with Darkwing, Abstraction, followed by some sea monsters like Jack B, Renault L, Ryder X Machina, Truggy, Vera Tenuta, Justin Frostclaw, and Strider. Oh, look at these death notes. No. Nova K, Basil B, Chad P, Romeo V, Marston K, System T, Craig H, Renee L, Leonardo, Dak Kresny, Kim, Spashley G, Chris, Steve, Jill, Benjamin, Doom 2, Dawad, Steve D, D, Dirty D, Back, Gamatron, Dodger, Xanthrius Gaming, and Ru. Zeno, Daniel, Berlick, Asia, Minus 9, Monaco, Alex, Oil of Hope, Jim, Pappel, Zen, KR, Ducky, Ask Elmo, and all of our fine How, Frank's how tiny buddy. text can you read? Carl, Mike, Arthur, and Linux, New, Aldeus, Nocto, John, Eshep, Endgame. Oh. Motherfucking try. We made it. It's ho, almost ho, another ho. full ass year of Linux Gamecast. You know what? I was thinking about that. That's first of the year followed by Christmas. That's some bullshit dead time, isn't it? Oh, abs- absolutely. That should be tomorrow. Oh, what well, we are, and we're, we're oh man we'll see you uh next year monday i guess for, I, oh, yeah. for trying then wednesday and get, don't worry come hang out with us you we'll we'll be around we'll be get out of here call us five dudes